These air fryer goat cheese balls are little slices of heaven and I know you're gonna love them. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. First, let's go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Goat cheese, flour, panko, olive oil spray, and an egg. And the one piece of special cooking equipment you need for this recipe is an air fryer. Our first step in this recipe is to lay out your goat cheese on a cutting board. Now the total amount of goat cheese you need for this recipe is eight ounces. In the grocery store that I shop at, they only sell them in four ounce logs. So I bought two of those, so four times two equals eight. And now what I'm gonna do is I've laid them out on this cutting board and I'm going to cut each log into six pieces, which is then gonna give us uh, 12. Let me, let me do the math. Six times two is 12. I'm just on camera, sometimes I get nervous. So this is gonna give us 12 goat cheese balls that we're going to roll and then cook later in the air fryer. So first step is to cut each of these logs into six pieces and try to make them as equal as possible. Five and six, ooh, that was really good. I don't think I've ever done it that well before, so I'm gonna congratulate myself. All right, now I'm gonna cut the other log into six pieces. Now that we have 12 pieces of our goat cheese cut, take each one, one by one, and put it in your hand like this, and we're gonna roll each one into a ball. So you probably remember from your days of being a kid and playing with Play-Doh, same thing. It's just like you're rolling a ball of Play-Doh. And the size of the goat cheese ball that you're really looking for is just about a ping pong ball size. So let me show you guys. And then after each one is finished, you're going to put it on a plate, and then after that, we're gonna pop it in the freezer. One note I wanna make for you guys is that notice how none of these goat cheese balls right now are touching each other. That's very important. So when we put them in the freezer to freeze them for just about 20 minutes, we don't want them touching so that they don't freeze together. Now I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for just about 20 minutes and let them harden up. So while the goat cheese balls are in the freezer firming up, this is what you need to do next. We're gonna set up our dredging stations. So in one shallow bowl, you need to add your flour. In another shallow bowl, you need to add one egg. And in your third bowl, you're gonna add your panko breadcrumbs. And now I'm gonna give the egg a light beat. All right, so I've popped the goat cheese balls out of the freezer and they have firmed up really nicely. So let's start the dredging. So I'm gonna go from my right to left, flour, then egg, then breadcrumbs. And actually with these ones, I'm going to double bread them. So I'm gonna go once through with each one and then I'm gonna go back again through with the same one. And then I'm gonna put it on the sheet pan when it's done and ready for the air fryer. So first I'm rolling it into the flour. Then I shake off any excess. Then I go into the egg. Then I drop into the breadcrumbs. Coat with the breadcrumbs. You might even wanna press some of the breadcrumbs nice and lightly. And then now I'm gonna take it through the same process one more time. And the reason why I do a double breading on all of these goat cheese balls is because um, when you heat up these goat cheese balls in the air fryer, what happens is, is that the goat cheese gets really hot inside, almost like molten level hot, and they are very likely to explode. Now, I don't mean to be dramatic, like they're not gonna like explode and goat cheese is gonna be flying all over your kitchen. It's not like that. They basically just sort of break in the air fryer if they're not double coated. But if they're double coated, you have a much better chance of keeping them together. Now I'm gonna take the rest of these goat cheese balls twice through the dredging stations, and then I'm gonna set it on the baking sheet. Now that we've got our goat cheese balls all ready to go, they've been double breaded, and we've got them on our sheet pan, grab out your olive oil spray and give them a nice light coat. I'm only gonna spray the sides that I can see. I'm not gonna worry about the underside just yet. And try to get all the sides if you can. I'm also gonna give the inside of the air fryer basket a light coat of olive oil, just on the bottom. And this allows us to not have to worry about trying to spray the underside of each of these goat cheese balls. So now, very carefully, drop them or place them into your air fryer and make sure that you're giving them a little bit of room from each other so that the hot air of the air fryer can move around and really give them a nice, good crisp. Okay, now we're going to pop them in the air fryer very carefully again. We're going to set the temperature at 370 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna cook them from anywhere between six to eight minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna err on the side of a little bit less. And the reason why is because I have I've done these in the past and I've cooked them too long and they will explode. So I'm gonna start at six minutes. 
while the goat cheese balls are cooking, I wanna tell you a little bit about my inspiration for this recipe. So I watch a show called Vanderpump Rules. It's a reality show on Bravo. And in the show, there is a character named Lisa Vanderpump. She owns a restaurant called Sir in West Hollywood. And at that restaurant, on the show, they make these goat cheese balls and I'm sure they deep fry them, but whenever I've seen the episodes that feature these goat cheese balls, they look so incredibly delicious that I knew I had to try to do a healthier version in the air fryer, so that's how I created the recipe. All right guys, so the six minute timer finished a minute ago and I added an extra minute just because I wanted them a little crispier, so let's see how we did. Ooh, oh, okay, well, <laughs> One of them exploded, but you know what? One out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one out of eight isn't bad. But these look so incredible, I cannot wait to give them a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Air Fryers recipe playlist. All right, so let's go ahead and plate these. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you my two favorite garnishes for these goat cheese balls. Grab out a little bit of honey, and I'm just going to do a kind of messy little drizzle all over, and then next, now that they're a little sticky, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh chopped thyme. All right, let's give these a try. Mmm, hot. Let me show you guys what that looks like. Look at how incredible. You guys are gonna love these air fryer goat cheese balls. They are so crispy and the goat cheese is nice and soft and then you top them with a little bit of the sweetness of the honey. These are great. You're gonna love them. Please, please, if you have an air fryer, give them a try. I'll see you in the next video.